This piece is coffee table book. Um, it came really from looking at yet another way of, of how we approach or have art in our lives. And uh, the coffee table book is sort of a classic mechanism for people to have, to collect art without um, spending huge amounts of money. In this case, I'm really looking at the, um, in this case I'm really looking at things we love to shoot. Uh, we're constantly shooting photographs of sunsets over the ocean or the lake. And, and why is it? Like, I mean, we would all agree it's a beautiful scene. We're all attracted to it. We all want to, we all want to grab our camera and go, oh, look, bam. But, but why? And um, so what I've done for the video here is selected several subjects that we shoot, as, in we being human beings, that we shoot over and over and over again. So I went on Flickr and did searches for things like sunsets over the ocean and found an ungodly number of photos. I also did fields with the, the where you have the lines of the, the field coming like spreading out away from you from the camera and um, faces looking at you, portraits and mountains and hills in the fog and the single tree. The, um, that is a lone tree sitting on a hill or something. And um, it's a surprisingly popular subject. So anyway, I've taken those images and not only do I show them individually in the video edit, but there's also times when they start layering up on top of each other. And so all the trees build up into, until you have this sort of just hazy suggestion of a single tree. There's a sort of a trunk-like shape in the middle and a little ballish, place in the middle uh, above that and then a, a vague horizon and uh, same thing with sunsets over the ocean um, when those layers when those images are all layered on top of each other you end up with sort of this blurry super blurry bright sun area in the middle of the photo and sort of a blurry suggested horizon on this piece the, uh, the photograph is is the entire image and as you can see, it's of a coffee table, of course, and the book. The video is one side of the book, the other side is photographic with sort of a generic pretty photo. And here I've painted a, a bookmark going through the book. And it's kind of a, a personal, um, you know, I, I take a little personal humor in this for myself because I think I find it funny that the bookmark goes kind of through the video screen. So it's sort of playing with um, an awareness of, of the illusion I've built. In other words, I present this, this video here as if it's photographed and I want you to read this whole book as a flat surface with the video playing. But there's this, this intellectual side of the viewer that knows that there's stuff behind here that, that it goes into. So this painting going through the video to me is um, it's sort of a humorous intersection and self-awareness of how the work is put together.